Today marked day five of the Amarillo Civic Center distributing the coronavirus vaccine. While they began vaccinating those in priority group 1A last Monday and Tuesday, since Wednesday those in group 1B have been able to receive it. Here's a detailed look at the Moderna vaccine and what challenges the city has faced throughout their efforts. Once you've had your vaccine, then you go into this holding room for observation for 15 minutes. Initially, Amarillo Public Health Director Casey Stoughton shared that the city received 10,000 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. In just the past five days, over 7,000 doses have been distributed. Today alone, over 2,600 people received the first dose of the Moderna vaccine. The biggest challenge would be that we just don't know exactly when or how much vaccine we're going to get. We know that the state is in the same kind of bind, that they don't know when and what kind of how much vaccine they're going to get. Additionally, Stoughton broke down a key difference between the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Vaccine, especially the Moderna vaccine, you get four weeks or 28 days from when you receive the first dose. You can get that anytime after 28 days, but not before. So that is the thing to remember with Pfizer, it's 21 days. And while those four weeks pass for Moderna recipients, Stoughton explains how they're reminding patients on when to come back for the second dose. A patient um, will go ahead and scan the QR code that's on that V-Safe paperwork. Then it will um, send them alerts and, and remind them when their next dose is. And while the timing of the next allotment is unknown, the city plans to keep pushing forward with what they've got. We do anticipate some more doses uh, from the state. Again, like the mayor described, we just don't know exactly how many. We don't know exactly when, but we do anticipate more. Um, and so we will give that vaccine until we don't have any more. Now, those currently able to receive the Moderna vaccine at the Amarillo Civic Center include priority groups 1A and 1B. So priority group 1A includes frontline health care workers, while priority group 1B involves individuals 65 years of age and older and people 18 years of age and older with at least one chronic medical condition.